to my channel. Today is going to be a Q&A question about, I guess, a couple of my videos that I see a lot of repetitive questions about, um, as well as like whether it's my relaxed hair or my wigs, whatever the case may be. So let's get into this Q&A. Okay, so I wrote a lot of the questions down. There may be questions that I have not answered because there have been so many questions about different things. So if you have any questions after this video, feel more than welcome to list it down below in the comment section. So the first one is, um, all right, what, what do they say? Hot oil treatment. Do you warm up the hot oil? Um, so I did a video on uh, making your own hot oil treatment in which all you have to do is put in your own favorite oils that you guys like and then put any type of treatment like you know you can do peppermint um, oil or you can do grapeseed oils and just different things that help stimulate stimulate growth so that's kind of what, what makes you know a hot oil treatment uh, actual treatment um, so for me I don't do a lot of heating up I don't sit under the dryer and things like that I just don't like to do it um, you are more than welcome to do that. When I do my hot oil treatments, I just put a plastic bag around my head, a grocery bag, and I just go throughout the house doing like chores or I'll sleep in it or something like that. Your body naturally is going to heat up the oil, so I don't heat it. I don't sit under any type of dryer. That is my heating up, my body heating it up. Um, so what I would probably say is to leave the oil on long enough for your body to actually to heat up the oil. Um, most of the times, I would say. An hour at least, you know, so that your body is actually able to warm up the oils. So to answer the question, no, I don't sit under the dryer, and yes, I do have my body heat up the oil itself. What leave-in conditioner do I use? I um, use olive oil, um, mango mango butter, and the Cantu Shea butter. Those are like my products that I continue to buy, my products that I continue to pick up. Um, whether I am stretching my relaxers or just getting my relaxer, I love the smell of those products. I love how it makes my hair feel, especially when I am stretching my relaxers. My new growth is so resistant, so I have to make sure that I am giving you know, my hair the oils in the um, conditioner that it needs. Not only is it like resistant, what I mean by that is that it's just really, really dry and it's really, really like stuff, right? I don't know how to say it. So, in order to make sure that you know I can go through the process of stretching my relaxers, I use oils and I use um, leave-in conditioners to help me with that. Deep conditioning is everything, you guys, because it's gonna soften up the hair, it's gonna make it more manageable. What heat protective do I use? I use the Cream of Nature Argan Oil, in which it is a hair shine and it also is a heat defense. So that is the only product that I use, and I actually have it right in front of me. Like, I love this. This is from Cream of Nature. It smells so good, and I've had it for at least, I mean, I want to say almost, um, if not half a year, then almost a year, because I've had this for a long time. So a little goes a long way, you guys. I just pretty much put like a maybe a dime size in my hair, just rub it through my hair when I am done flat ironing my hair or blow drying my hair. I also put it in um, right after I'm done getting out of the shower for my conditioning. I'll dry my hair and I'll put it straight onto my hair again because it's gonna help for the um, blow dryer and flat iron process. So I love it, it smells so good. How often do I trim my ends? Um, it's hard to say because I trim my ends as needed. So pretty much like I do the search and destroy method and if you're not familiar with that, you guys, the search and destroy method is basically when you go, you'll pull your hair, you know, pull it down, and you'll just look at your ends, and you'll just, you know, cut off pieces that are split ends, or you'll cut off pieces that just look kind of raggedy. So I do that a lot um, in the midst of me stretching my relaxers. But then also, um, if I want to do a trim, then I just do it as needed. I don't. I don't even, I can't really give you, to be honest, I can't give you a set time frame, like four months, three months, blah, 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 just because it just depends on the condition of my hair. I find that I am not trimming my hair as often um, as I did in the past, and I think that has a lot to do with me protective styling, so I'm not combing my hair out as much. Um, I'm only doing it when I, you know, when I'm needing to do it, like if I'm doing a relaxer, then I'll comb it out then, or if I am doing, um, like, you know, about to wash my hair. I don't even condition it, I don't wash my hair as often with shampoo, I should say. Um, just because I feel like my hair, what it's telling me is more so that it needs condition than it needs for it to be washed. 
So I, I hope you guys understand that part. It's like I don't shampoo like every two weeks like I used to. Like I literally I shampoo like once a month. And that's because a lot of times I'm protective styling my hair under a wig so I'm not having to really deal with my hair. Now when I take my wig off at night, I'll put some like coconut oil on and just rub it on my ends of my hair. Or I'll get black castor oil and I just rub that on the edges of my hair. But I'm not having to wash out the my hair as often. I don't know how to explain it other than the fact that I am protective styling my hair a lot, a lot, 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 lot. So, to answer the question again about the trimming, I feel that the more you have to comb your hair, the more that you're in your hair, the more you're going to have to trim your hair because you're constantly putting tension on the ends of your hair. So when you comb your hair, you guys, that's even though you're doing it from the bottom up, you're still putting tension on your hair. If you're always in your hair, you know, putting it in some type of protective style or whatever you're doing, I just feel like the more manipulation that you're doing with your hair, the more often you're going to have to trim your hair because you're you're aggravating it. You're it's already the very ends of your hair are already very fragile. So yeah, so yeah, I don't have to trim my hair as often just because I don't like see my hair that often. <laughs> and what kind of coconut oil do I use? I use the Luana um, coconut oil and it's 100% pure coconut oil. I got it from, I don't have it out here, but I got it from um, Publix. You can also get it from Walmart because I got it from there before too. And it's I think it's like a 32 ounce um you know bottle or container I love that oil like I love coconut oil if I had to choose any oils it would definitely be coconut oil because it is very light it's pure I just I'm in love with it, it smells good like I, hands down coconut oil is like my favorite at least right now okay you guys so those are a couple of questions I had some more questions on there but they were like I said they were kind of repetitive questions so if you guys have any more questions about you know my hair or just my channel in general make sure you list it down below there is another one that I wanted to dis discuss with you guys. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I am, and I think I think I feel this way every time I am stretching my relaxer or getting closer to my relaxer. I am like I have my hair in a ponytail because I had it in a protective style, um, like in a bun. I'm just sitting here contemplating on whether or not I should relax my hair before December. I just kind of want something fresh. I feel like when I did my last relaxer, like you guys, if you don't know, I'm text lax, but I'm like text, text, text lax because I, I didn't, it didn't sit on there as long as I usually sit it on there. I just wanted to make sure that I was being careful not to bone straight relax my hair. But this time I felt like, you know, it kind of, it was, I have about this much new growth. And a lot of that's because, you know, I'm text lax, but it's just so thick. And you might not be able to tell now, but I can't. My hair literally is at my bra, but when it's poofy and when it's dry, it goes like it's like this far from my bra. So just <laughs> that's a lot of new growth, and um, I just feel like you know maybe I should just instead of relaxing early, maybe I should just continue to protect the style because I like to make sure that my hair is only getting the relaxer every four months because the chemicals are strong, and I don't like to get it relaxed that often. So maybe not. I think I kind of answered my own question. Like I. I feel like any relaxed girl goes through that, okay, should I relax early, should I wait? Like, I can't be the only one. Just let me know, I'm not the only one, I'm not the one. <laughs> okay, so another question that I get on, or have gotten on my videos, it's more so my wig videos, obviously, is Marquinsia, like what do you do with your old wig? What do you do with your old wigs? Well, I don't do anything with my old wigs. Like a lot of my wigs, like they're still sitting in like, the little plastic bag that it came with. So if I'm not wearing it that often, um, or I'm wanting to discard it or get rid of it, um, I guess I haven't really thought about it until someone actually mentioned it. I haven't thrown away any wigs as of now, um, but they wanted to know whether or not I would give my wigs away. Um, I mean, <laughs> I don't mind giving my wigs away at all. Like, but the only thing I think that I would run into um, is shipping it out, especially shipping it out to like, you know, places that are Canada or just, I'm not going to be paying for shipping and handling. So if you want the wigs, you are more than welcome to um, have the wigs if I'm not wearing them. Um, 
because I would rather you guys have them versus me throwing them away. Now, I mean, they're not probably going to be in the best condition as, you know, when they came. So just keep that in mind. But, I mean, if you're interested in my old wigs, just let me know down below that you are interested in it. And I can let you know what wigs that I am thinking about, you know, throwing away or giving away. Um... But just keep in mind, like I said, I'm not shipping out of the country. I'm not shipping. I'm not going to pay for shipping and handling, which I think is fair. I'm giving you the wig, so I'm not going to go and pay $14, 20 something dollars for shipping and handling. So, like I said, if you are interested in that, then just let me know um, down in the comment section, and I definitely will send you the wigs. I have no problem. We can kind of set up something where PayPal or something, and I can just tell you shipping and handling price, and then I can ship it off to you. Um, Again, that's just for people who are interested. So, you guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy. I just wanted to make sure that I was being transparent with people who, who had questions, who um, maybe was confused about, you know, my hair journey or my channel or, you know, anything about me in general. You guys know if you have any questions, you can always list it down in the comment section below. Um, if not, then you guys, just make sure that you subscribe, you guys, if you're not already like this video if you want to see more videos like this and comment below and i will see you guys later bye and i said woo i know i know i know back up off me i said woo back up off me i said woo